-hmm. Have no fear, Harry is here. So I was due for some new shaving products and after trying out Harry's, uh, you can get a custom engraved handle and quality blades and I won't have to worry about shopping for shaving products anymore. Sharp blades, great handle and smooth gels. Visit harrys.com to get started and get $5 off your first purchase using our code HWC at checkout. harrys.com, a quality shave for every day. Computer cases are getting smaller and so is the hardware. To complement this shift away from full-size ATX builds towards smaller ITX or micro ATX systems. It's really an exciting time when builders can assemble a really powerful gaming machine with plenty of options available and today we're taking a look at what I would consider one of the best options for a compact enthusiast ready ITX case. This is the Silverstone SG13 that can be picked up for under $50 with your choice of front mesh with this unique square slash triangle pattern which is better for airflow or a solid front panel for that different aesthetic pattern. This G13 is absolutely tiny at 11.5 liters yet is attractive because it can fit a full-size GPU up to 10.5 inches which happens to be almost the length of the chassis itself. At the front there are two USB 3 ports with audio jacks, a Silverstone logo on the opposite side and a power switch on the top right corner. Unfortunately without a reset button. The main frame of the chassis feels solid and the front plastic is okay too. There's nothing really to complain about nor there's no praise to give for the build quality. All the sides are ventilated, one small area near the CPU and the larger one on the opposite side for the GPU which would allow either blower style or open style coolers to intake fresh air and as you know me I love to dust proof every intake and exhaust which unfortunately is not found in this crucial spot, nor is there a dust filter for the top panel, which is the intake for the power supply, and I think it's an unexcusable exclusion, as both your GPU and the power supply will require regular maintenance if you're in a dusty environment, especially since the outside panel is really challenging to remove, and I would love not to worry about this for future revisions. I'm happy to say though that the front panel is fully dustproof, that requires a screwdriver for removal, would love uh, for a toolless design to be implemented here, especially since the removal filter is included, spanning the main intake area, plus a small mesh is present for both sides, which is awesome to see. The front supports both 140 and 120mm fans, I set mine to exhaust and this would be perfect spot to mount a 120 or a 140mm all-in-one water cooler for the CPU or the GPU even, thus taking the heat directly out of the chassis and notice there's also plenty of spacing away from the motherboard and the power supply to fit a thick radiator. Also the front panel needs to be removed in order to fit a 10.5 inch GPU as there is an appropriate cutout that lets you pass the car without any hassle, although a 140mm fan would interfere with that space, so keep that in mind. At the bottom we find four rubber dimples that I think are a fantastic design choice to eliminate audible vibrations if there are any when placed on the hard surface, plus you don't need to worry about scratching anything. The impressive thing about the SG13 is that it can fit a full-size ATX power supply that sits right above the motherboard, so you would require a low-profile cooler up to 61mm tall or go with an all-in-one cooler that exhausts the heat directly from the front and uh, the actual block is very low-profile, so it won't interfere with the power supply. Inside we have this drive bracket that is removable with screws and can either support dual SSDs or a single 3.5 inch drives. So your storage options are pretty limited for the bracket, even if a single SSD is installed here, you can say goodbye to the 3.5 inch drive. Luckily, a stashed away SSD spot is available on the floor below the GPU, which is not comfortable at all to install, but at least you can utilize the main bracket for mechanical storage. 
And with our system put together, wiring management is, uh, well, basic. Just making sure that no fan blades make contact with any cables. And we are using the AR06 low profile CPU cooler and an SFXL power supply by Silverstone, which go together nicely inside this uh, ITX chassis. And the last piece is installing the drive bracket. I would recommend making sure to have your SATA cables within reach. Uh, and notice the power supply fan is facing up to intake air and also so it doesn't interfere with the CPU fan right below. And for the GPU, I decided to install the ASUS GTX 950 Strix so it can run totally silent when under light load and have the fans kick in only when needed, which is perfect for any tiny living room gaming machine. And so this is it, the Silverstone SG13 delivers a fantastic ITX experience in my opinion, in terms of hardware compatibility and enthusiast options, plus it is well priced. But it is not without hiccups, like the lack of dust filters on intake vents is really a head scratcher and really annoying exterior panel that is just a pain to reinstall. I would still recommend it though for ITX builds on a budget where dealing with the mentioned drawbacks is tolerable. And that concludes the review of the Silverstone SG13. Let us know what you think of it in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe and follow for more similar content. I'm Dimitri with Hardware Canucks and we'll see you in the next one.